after watching all those previous films, uh, I thought to myself, well, mine is so shallow and like uh, not really telling about any issue or problem. I'm not a, really a director, I'm a cinematographer. As I didn't really finish any film school, I didn't have like director friends who could invite me to like a real narrative project. So I decided to take things into my own hands and uh, write a little bit of a really simple story and then um, kind of try to direct it. Uh, with help a lot of my friends, uh, we came up with this short piece. Was yeah. it based on uh, some actual events? Or just... Uh... Not really. I actually was just inspired by a few feature movies and then we actually developed uh, the script from the v very start with my friends. Uh, so it took us quite a while because we were writing it for like almost half a year, but we, we had no deadlines, no rush, so... We were just uh, kind of complicated it and then making it easier, simple, and uh, yeah, it's just a full fiction. Actually, the whole story started with a location. We, uh, we were driving with our friends uh, in Ostrava in Czech Republic and we found this hotel right next to the like, foundry. Uh, so, and I fell in love with uh, like first, first sea and then we started thinking about the actual uh, script. So, yeah, like it, it helped a lot with cinematography, like mm -hmm. having that good location. After the last shot, when the crowd was, <gasps> how did you feel about that, first of all? Uh, I, I would be proud of that moment <laughs> if I was you. Um, the second, did you have any environmental message in mind? Because picking up that location with too many smokes and then a child being killed as a symbol for future, do you have any environmental message behind it or did you just... Actually it's my first time that I watch uh, my film with the actual public uh, so it was really important for me to come here and world premiere. actually uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a world premiere but like for me it was the first time that I could really see how the people react more that uh, being proud of the last reaction I was actually more proud that people laughed at the that story yeah that meant to me actually more. Yeah, and for the second one, to be honest, it wasn't uh, strictly about like uh, ecological fact, it was just uh, making the picture heavy. Be so it was like super green and then super dark and then all the like fumes added just a climax. Most of the actors are my friends. Uh, some of them, uh, like the father, are of course professional actors, but mostly do like uh, theater uh, pieces and like shorts and a bit of TV series. But I had uh, like the biggest issue with the boy. I'm not the director. We were shooting in Czech Republic and I had to direct a dog and a kid. <laughs> so uh, yeah, <laughs> I lost like five kilograms during the shooting of this in four days. And the budget, was it expensive? I don't know, it was like around uh, 3,000 euro. Mm -hmm. I mostly paid it by myself, but I also got uh, help from like two companies. Mm -hmm. So we didn't pay for the hotel and like for the locations, mm -hmm. which was huge help. Uh, but then actually everyone except for like really, really minimal fee for the actor was working here for free. Did you have a moral in mind behind the kids' actions or, or even the the father's actions at all, but w was there any? Not, not really a big moral because I'm not a big, big fan of like uh, how to call it moral cinema. Uh, it was just about giving father revenge for how he acted in like for his son, and then uh, like making just us think that maybe we have some relations that we kind of abandoned, and maybe we could go back to them and and try to renew them or, or maybe treat them well.